Happy Resurrection Day. It is Easter. I don't normally time stamp these meditations, but this is an important day for many people around the world as it is believed that Jesus Christ, the man of physical history, rose from the dead on Easter Sunday. We celebrate it as Resurrection Day. I celebrate with all of my Christian brothers and sisters the resurrection of Jesus, but more than that, the resurrection of the Christ within us all. So I welcome you today to our fourth session of Manifestation Meditation. This uh, practice is completely changing my life. I have decided to commit to instead of waiting and hoping in the future for the life I know I'm called to live, I've decided to create it. This is the creative power that we all have. The question arises sometimes, yes, but what about just letting go and going with the flow? Oh, we're still doing that. We're still allowing ourselves to be in the space of surrender to the Supreme. But the Supreme nature, the pure presence, God, if you want to use that word, has given to us the power to create within the realm of this human experience. And so we are focusing this month not on anything negative, not on anything that is uh, opposed to the life we are wanting, choosing to live, creating. We're bringing our focus in on brain, heart, and body coherence, cooperation, building the corporation and the cooperation of the life we want. We've been studying for almost a year now, practicing the truth of who we really are, right? We still know that we are not our thoughts, not our feelings, not our emotions. We know that thoughts, emotions, feelings are tools. We know who is the one who has the toolbox. So now, since we know we are the pure consciousness, the one who's able to think, who's able to emote, and able to feel. Now that we know this inside of ourselves, we know this deeply. We are utilizing these tools because we know the mind is a wonderful servant, a wonderful employee, but a terrible boss, a terrible master. Because the mind is capturing all kinds of things within the senses. It's supposed to. This human existence is really built around senses and sensations. And all of those are beautiful. They're wonderful in their rightful place. So the CEO of this existence that's called John Scott, that has the title business of John Scott, the CEO is the true I behind who am I. I'm the sky that hosts the clouds, remember? I'm the observer and the witness of the thoughts, the emotions, and the feelings. Now that I'm fully aware of who I really am, I'm putting it all to work. For the first time in my life, true harmony, congruence, harmony, unity of brain, heart, and body manifesting the life I know I'm called to live and everything that's necessary in the toolbox to make that happen I'm bringing into harmony 
with the calling of the Dharma, which is an Eastern term, the Dharma, who I'm intended to be, who I actually am. What a wonderful day to practice this on Resurrection Day. We've put aside the old life. Behold, I make all things new. Is this audacious? Yeah, maybe, but I'm willing to do it. And I'm thankful that some of you, many of you, those of you who are here have committed to this. Let's commit to this. It's only 30 days. I remember hearing a reading in the Bible where Jesus comes back to the disciples while he's in the garden and they had fallen asleep and Jesus said to them, could you not watch and pray with me but one hour? Watch and pray that you enter not into temptation to fall back into the previous life. That's my paraphrase. Could you not watch with me for 30 days? <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm even making it easier, easier for us. Next weekend on Saturday and Sunday, we're going to move our time frame to 8 a.m. instead of 6.30 a.m. <laughs> Give you a little more time to sleep in. Me too, for that matter. All right. This is lovely. Uh, thank you for being here. We're going to return to the same breathing practice because it's a powerful breathing practice. It's breathing into the root chakra, or for those who are more science driven, the base of the spinal cord or the spinal base. Breathing into that space, pushing up from that space into the pelvic area, which is called the sacral in the chakras, into the solar plexus, which would be abdomen. When you reach the solar plexus, just contract the muscles, simply your abs, the abdomen, contract, pulling the navel back toward the spinal cord, pushing that cerebral fluid up higher through the spinal cord into the heart space to breathe into the heart space then into the throat chakra then into the third eye pushing that energy all the way to the crown when it reaches the crown it connects with consciousness it reaches out into the cosmos it combines the power the energy that you have within you with the ineffable the eternal same power that raised Christ from the dead dwells within you. That resonance and frequency, when it reaches the conscious eternal realm, what Dr. Joe Dispenza calls the quantum field, when it reaches the quantum field, whew, man, the power there. And then it heals the pineal gland that often gets calcified. Many don't know this, but even the, um, even the iodine in water, or not the iodine, but the uh, um, uh, chlorine and fluoride in water has a tendency to calcify the pineal gland. And we are decalcifying it, purifying it, returning it to its fleshy, spongy material instead of being petrified so that it can do the job. that it's intended to do. Okay, let's see who all's here. Who all's here and dedicated to this 30-day life change. Not everyone's going to do it. You know, even the Bible speaks of, of an elect. Not everyone's gonna do it, and that's fine. No judgment, but we are, aren't we? We are. Donna, good morning, Rachel. Good morning. Barbara and Jim, good morning. Melinda, good morning. Elle, good morning. Ah, Rachel's mom is with us. Good morning. Good morning. Glad to have you. Love to you. Love to you. Okay. Here we go. I am committed to you and I am committed to this practice. Putting aside 
even all right where your let's let me just share this where your focus goes your energy flows and whatever it is, it is expands this is why the psalmist david said oh magnify the lord with me lord is elizabeth in english it's uh a British terminology for one who has authority or uh, you could even say law so I personally like to say oh magnify spiritual law with me and let us exalt its name whatever you're attaching that law to forever because where your focus is going your energy is flowing be mindful that you're not focusing on the dis-ease during this practice. You don't want it to expand. Bring your focus to ease. Ease, not dis-ease, but ease during this time of meditation because this meditation is manifesting what you're focusing on. So when the mind chatters about other stuff going on, about how little you think you have in the bank or physical ailments or uh, whatever it may be. Just let the brain do that chattering. Don't engage it. Only engage what you want to expand. Okay? We're manifesting what we're focusing on. And we're going to sit, we are sitting in this space as if that wish is already fulfilled. It's moved beyond wish into reality. And the kingdom of God is at hand, which means you can touch it. Okay. Allow yourself right now in this moment to just relax. Let go of any stress, let go of anything that's trying to weigh you down. Just let go. Pay attention to your lungs just Breathing with ease. Just breathing in and out. Allow your shoulders to relax. Allow your neck, head, and face to just relax. Feel this quiet ease down into your chest, into your torso, into your pelvis and your hips and down into your thighs and knees, and calves and shins, ankles, feet. Just allow this energy of relaxation to flow through you. down-regulating any negative cells and we're up-regulating positive cells. Positive cellular activity on a biological level today. Manifesting in our body this positive consciousness power. Rewiring, refiring the brain building the neural pathways of endless possibilities. Watching the walls built to limit us, watching them just fade away like dust blowing in the wind. Feel that 
sense of relaxation now. Gently closing your eyes. You don't have to close them all the way. No need to lock them down. Just gently allow them to close. They don't even have to be again all the way closed. Just relaxed. Easy. Allow these words to escape from your mouth. Thank you. Thank you. Really simple words. Thank you. Thank you. Six 
breaths out. Yes, yes. Five or six cycles of this energy breathing. Know that you've laid down the old life and the new life is resurrecting now. So let's begin with the first breath, breathing in slowly. There you go. From the root to the sacral, solar plexus. Bring the navel toward the spine, flexing gently. Now moving into the heart space into the throat, to the third eye, and to the crown. Feel that energy. Exhale. Hold that focus. Where your focus goes, your energy flows. Allow that focus for a moment on the crown. And now prepare for a second breath. Begin breathing into the root chakra, moving up to the sacral, into the solar plexus. Flex that solar plexus muscle, lock it in. Move the breath to the heart, now into the throat now into the third eye, into the crown of your head. Hold it there, pump just a little with the solar plexus. Pump, pushing that cerebral fluid up through the spine into the brain. And now exhale. yourself to just breathe lightly, breathing lightly now. Feel that energy all in the crown of the head. You might be just now starting to feel a tingle, sort of a tingling sensation all the way up your back. It may manifest in different parts of the body. <coughs> Certainly feel the manifestation in the head of the head. You're probably seeing colors now as your eyes are closed. This is the energy flowing. It's inspiration in spirit and the moving of energy. Prepare now for breath number three. Begin into the root chakra. Now moving the breath into the sacral now solar plexus, pull the navel toward the spine, pump just a little bit, pushing that breath and cerebral fluid toward the heart space, into the throat, into the third eye, yeah, into the crown of your head, there it is. Now pump just a little bit with that, that solar plexus muscle, just kind of push, contract. Don't hold your breath harder, just contract the solar plexus. And now let it go. Isn't that good? Mm. Pure energy flow. Feel that power as it's moving throughout your being. The warmth in the head, the crown of the head tingling sensation. Your body now is fully aware, fully aware that you are active, alive, creating. Let's begin our fourth breath together now into the root chakra, breathing softly and easily into the sacral, now the solar plexus, bringing the navel toward the spine pushing cerebral fluid, breathing into the heart space, into the throat, into the third eye, into the crown of the head. 
pumping a little bit with the solar plexus. Once you reach the crown, focusing the energy at the crown. And now, exhale. Pure presence, pure inspiration. Moving throughout the chakra. The chakra is clear. The energy is moving. Creative force. Unity of brain, heart, and body. Oh yes. Oh yes. And now our fifth breath together. Breathing in to the root. Breathing up to the sacral, to the solar plexus. Flexing, pulling the navel toward the spine. Breathing into the heart space, the throat third eye and end to the crown of your head. Mm. Flexing, flexing the solar plexus. And now, exhale. Yeah, you can feel that power, that energy moving throughout your body. This is the power and the energy of the creative force that you are. Prepare for our sixth breath together. Begin now, pulling into the root chakra, sacral, solar plexus, Moving that cerebral fluid up to the brain by flexing the navel toward the spine. Bringing that breath into the heart space. Breathing in to the throat chakra. Now into the third eye, wide awake. And into the crown of your head. Covering the entire brain with amazing energy. Decalcifying that pineal gland warmth and power and strength and now exhale now allow your body to relax your breathing to return to its normal pace while this energy is moving throughout your body Bring your focus, engage the brain, heart, and body connection, working in unity together, not divided, bringing that focus of brain, heart, and body. This is thinking, emotion, and feeling. Now direct this human trinity of brain, heart, and body. Direct them toward a focus. What does it feel like? to be healthy, wealthy, and wise. What does it feel like? What does it smell like? What are the sounds that are present? Is it sitting by the ocean and hearing the ocean move? Is it being in the mountains and seeing the wonderful scenery? Is it sitting in a bubble bath with a glass of champagne? Is it walking on a hiking trail? Is it sitting in your favorite car? Walking 
around the house of your dreams. Is it opening your banking app and seeing plenty? What does it take to feel abundant? Be there with that now. It's all of the above for me. And so I bring all of this into focus, all of this into view. I feel it. I hear it. I smell it. I see it in my mind's eye. Declare with faith and inspirational energy that I already am healthy, wealthy, and wise. My wishes already are fulfilled.
for this life that I know already is and for everything that I'm attracting, I say thank you. So bring your focus to gratitude. Be grateful for what you already have. This new life you're building. Come into a space of gratitude. I'm grateful that I am abundant. I am grateful that I am healthy. I am grateful that I am wealthy. I am grateful that I am wise. Sit with me for just a moment. Sit in this feeling of life fulfilled, wishes fulfilled. Sit in this moment with me this moment of gratitude that your wishes are already fulfilled. get into this space 
And because within the first two or three, four days, they don't see yet in flesh manifestation what they're looking for, they just stop. I invite you to push past that. Because you're in the process of training the brain to do what you want. And that's going to take a little time to form that new habit, forming the new habitat. I encourage you, push through, past the doubt, past the ideas that, oh, this is not going to work. Push past those. Remember those are thoughts, they're not you. So let those go. Where your focus goes, your energy flows. When the doubt comes in and says, oh, this whole manifestation thing, this is not, it's not real. You know, it's not. Watch that now. Watch that. Let that stuff go. I encourage you to let that stuff go. For your new life's sake, let that stuff go. Don't judge yourself for it. Don't be mad at you for hearing that. That's the brain trying to make logical what is beyond logic. What we're doing right now is beyond even logic. It's in the realm of miracles, phenomena. So be with it. Push on through. Push on through. Trust the process. You're creating the new life. Trust the process. Thank you, thank you all for being here. Oh, I see Fred and John came in. Thank you so much for being here. Happy Resurrection Day to all of you. Happy Easter to all of you. Join us at 10 o'clock. As I mentioned in our um, uh, Facebook Messenger room, make sure that you write down between now and 10 o'clock on a piece of paper. When you think about the word God, what does it mean to you? Good, bad, or indifferent. Past definitions, present definitions, write them down and bring them with you to our Easter service at 10 o'clock, okay? Just trust me, I have something that I want us to share at today, okay? I love you, I love you, I love you. Peace and grace to you. We are rising, he is risen. We are risen and we are rising. Yeah, okay. Ah, oh, this feels good. <laughs> I'll see you in a couple of hours. Peace to you. Make it a great day because you can. <laughs>